Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this halo cut crease with a red eyeliner. And the first thing I always do is prime my eyelids and I love the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. And today I'm going to use the Morphe 35F eye palette, which is so freaking gorgeous. It contains all kind of brown shades, shimmery and matte ones, super nice. And I'm starting with this light neutral shade and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So I'm going to blend this back and forth and this will make it more easier to blend all the other eyeshadows later on. And now I'm going in with a darker shade, which is way more darker. I feel like this palette needed a sort of in-between brown shade because the lightest one and the darker one, there's a big difference which makes it harder for me to blend it out. So I just applied a tiny amount of this shade on my brush and I'm just going to slowly build it up. So I'm going to first apply a tiny amount, blend this in my crease and once I feel like I have everything blended out that was on my brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that brown eyeshadow and I'm going to blend it out even more. And I'm going to repeat this like four times until I have um, achieved the brown shade that I want. So now I'm going in with this even darker shade and it kind of reminds me of Sienna eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a sort of brown eyeshadow with a red undertone, super pretty. So I'm going to start by pressing and blending this in my outer V to sort of darken it up. I didn't want it to straight in blend this all over in the crease because it's a dark shade. So when this is the case, I always first apply it in my outer V and then I'm going to blend this more towards my crease when there's not that much product left on my brush anymore. So now I'm going in, in with an even darker shade and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm first going to press this in my outer V and then I'm going to blend it more towards my crease. So now that I'm done with applying shades in my crease, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And I'm going to use a very tiny concealer brush and I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. And today I'm going for a sort of circle because I want to create a halo effect. And whenever I create a halo, I always like to uh, create a sort of circle all over the eyelid. So now I'm going to use this shimmery shade, which is such a pretty bronze shade. And I'm going to spread some of the MAC Fix Plus spray on my brush. And the brush that I'm using is the MAC 242, one of my favorite brushes. And by um, spritzing a little bit of this product on my brush, it will intensify the eyeshadow shade. And whenever I create a halo eye look, I really like to use a wet brush. It just makes the eye colors pop out so much more. I really like it. So now I'm going in with a shade which is slightly lighter. And I'm going to use this for a new middle part of my eyelid. And I'm using that same MAC 242 brush. And I used it wet again to give it a really metallic finish. So I didn't feel like my eyelid was popping enough, so I went in with these two shades, I mixed them on my brush and I'm going to slightly apply this also in the middle part of my eyelid. So now I'm going in with this warm brown shade and I decided to also blend a little bit of this on the crease because I felt like the shades in my crease were so different than the shades on my eyelid and now my crease is a little bit more warm and I just think it suits better. So now I'm going in with the Morphe Hot Shot Liquid Lipstick and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. I really felt like during um, creating this eye look it was a little bit boring and it looked like other makeup looks that I have done before. So to give it a total different twist, I decided to gain bleh, I okay. I decided to go in with a colored eyeliner, but I don't really have a lot of nice eyeliners which are super bright. 
So that's why I'm using this Morphe liquid lipstick and I also like the fact that I'm staying uh, with one brand because I know it can be super annoying when someone uses so many different brands. But yeah, this shade is super gorgeous. I have also used it on my lips when I was wearing this look. I will post a picture of that on my Instagram tomorrow or today. But yeah, it's super easy to work with. The liquid lipsticks by Morphe are super creamy. But I do feel like you need to apply it quickly before it dries. Because else it would it will get a sort of crack. Not sure if that makes sense. So now I switched my uh, palette to the Morphe 35B. Which contains a lot of vibrant shades. And I'm going to mix the red shade and the orange shade for underneath the lower lash line. I really wanted to have a shade that looks the same as the eyeliner or liquid lipstick that I used. But I don't really own a shade like this. So that's why I used a orange and a red shade to get more of a vibrant red shade with an orange undertone. So now I'm going back in with the 35F palette by Morphe. I'm going to use that orangey gold shade which I used at the beginning on my eyelid. And now I'm going to use this for underneath the lower lash line and I'm blending this towards the red shade. And now I'm going back in with the two lightest shimmery shade which I also used in the middle part of my eyelid. And I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. And I'm also going to slightly blend this more towards the gold shade underneath the lower lash line so everything blends together. So now for my waterline, I'm going in with the Suiva Soft Cool Pencil and this is their nude pencil. I'm not sure if that's the correct name, but it's just their nude pencil. And I'm going to apply this in the waterline um, for a look like this where I use a lot of brown shades. I don't really like to go in with a white pencil, but I think a nude pencil suits better. And for my mascara, I use the new, well it's not really a new mascara, but it's a limited edition by Tarte Cosmetics. I love the packaging and the mascara is also really nice. And for my lashes, I use the Anytude Fluffy Lashes. I will put a link in the description bar together with a discount code where you can get them. And yeah, this is how the finished eye look looks with the lashes on. I really hope you like the outcome. I received so many sweet comments on my Snapchat. If you aren't following me yet, my username is Makeup by Anne. I always post sneak peeks and stuff and I always uh, respond to comments. So if you want to chat, just send me a Snapchat. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!